Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on Library or BitChute, the name of my channels on those two websites is Comic Freak. We're going to be talking about how Congress is trying to push through a new bill that could, well, be a complete disaster for anyone who actually knows anything about it, because I'm surprised they would actually try and, well, put this into law. It's a complete trash fire, and yeah... I want to see this frickin' bill go down. So let's get into this article. I want to talk about a malignant incompetence on the, on the part of our elected officials, and this isn't even about the pandemic, rather it's about the spectacularly misguided, counterproductive, expensive, and overbearing approach to end-to-end -end encryption by the USA, along with Australia, Canada, the UK, and New Zealand. The so-called Five Eyes. Consider the TSA lock program. Bear with me, this is important. It's an initiative to ensure all luggage locks can be opened by universal keys held by the TSA and other aviation security agencies so that any luggage can be searched at any time. The cited purpose is to prevent terrorism, which of course we all want. Unfortunately, the TSA master keys have been publicly leaked such that anyone can make copies. Furthermore, the TSA agents are numerous, fallible, and prone to misusing their authority. Still, preventing terrorism is a good thing, which we all want, right? Some people may feel that TSA locks are unacceptable and trues into their personal liberties, but a majority seem basically okay with them. They're a trade-off between public security and personal privacy, which we all have a collectively more or less agreed on. Suppose, however, that the situation was tweaked slightly. Suppose that anyone who really wanted to could, at the cost of some slight inconvenience, instead using vulnerable luggage, proof against keys, scans, and external access of any kind all for free, and airlines were required to convey that luggage anyway. Call it the TSA locks except for people willing to take an extra half hour to pack program. Suddenly, that whole program sounds completely insane, doesn't it? Suddenly, this isn't a trade-off at all. Clearly, people with anything to hide, such as terrorists, drug smugglers, etc., would immediately switch to using the invulnerable luggage, and the rest of the TSA lock mandate would become a gratuitous invasion of personal privacy. Suddenly, the program's chief impact would be the imposition of significant and unnecessary risks such as leaked master keys, rogue TSA agents, and misuse by tyrannical governments on the entire flying public, who don't go on the inconvenience of using the vulnerable luggage. Suddenly the program brings no benefit whatsoever. Suddenly it is a poster child for malevolent government overreach, negligence, and authoritarianism. Well, TSA locks except for people willing to take an extra half hour to pack is, I'm appalled to report a perfect and exact metaphor for what the Five Eyes want to do with end-to-end -end encryption. They want a golden key backdoor, aka a TSA lock for all messages sent over a messaging system like WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, iMessage, etc. Despite the inescapable fact that unbreakable encryption, aka invulnerable luggage, has long been widely available, open source, and free to all. Even if you wanted to put that genie back in the bottle and you really shouldn't, as it has granted as many wishes, which protect us all. It is far too late now, even if you wanted to prevent messages with strong encryption from being transferred, which you really shouldn't. You couldn't. There are too many ways to disguise them as other messages, e.g. encode them in images and vulnerable luggage is a fact of life and has been for decades. And yet governments keep trying to legislate it out of existence with legislation that will only harm people who use the metaphorical TSA locks curiously of leaked keys, rogue government workers, and authoritarian governments everywhere. The latest attempt is the Earn It Act, introduced Thursday by a bipartisan coalition. Here is a summary of its most grievous flaws by Rena Peppercorn, he Associate Director of Surveillance and Cybersecurity at the Stanford Center for Internet and Society, who previously described the bill as how to ban end-to-end -end encryption without actually banning it. The site didn't intend the bill is to fight child sexual abuse material, or CSAM, which of course is a most laudable goal, which we all desire, just like the goal of preventing terrorist attacks on airplanes. Planes. But as with the TSA locks metaphor, this will simply drive awful people to use their own encryption, their own invulnerable luggage, while giving authoritarian governments, people with leaked keys and rogue agents access to potentially trillions of previously secure private messages worldwide. It is a catastrophically dumb idea, crafted by people who don't understand what they're doing. Let's hope just as with the pandemic, there's still time enough to convince them of the reality. 
Yeah, we really have to do something about this, folks. We have to make sure this act doesn't pass because we don't need any more invasions of privacy, much like the Patriot Act did to us. We need to get back those rights, and this is a good way to get them by making sure something like this can't pass. Now, what we do next is, if you can, please share this video and make sure others see it. We have to make as many people aware of this thing as possible. If you like this video, subscribe though. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people. So make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Read comics, they're bad for you. Then go over to Library and BitChute and subscribe to my channels on those two websites. They're both named Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications. Hit that like button and leave some comments down below. And if you could, could you also please share this video? Share it on Twitter, share it on Reddit, and share it on Facebook. Facebook, share it anywhere you think it'll do the most good because YouTube is not going around in promoting their own YouTube creators anymore. So please share this video. Now listen closely. It's that time of the day again. It's plug-in time. Keep checking back in all my future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book scum dogs. I'm Chris Williams and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.